Welcome to Fish Tank Forms video tutorial series, part three, Fishless Cycling. For decades, traditional cycling with fish was the only common method known to hobbyists. But technology has moved on, and there is a new and safer method available to us today. Made popular by a biochemist, this technique establishes the nitrogen cycle important to our aquariums without placing any fish in jeopardy. Why choose fishless cycling? While it is possible to cycle with fish, fishless cycling presents us with a number of advantages. We subject no fish or inverts to toxic chemicals. We are able to use tactics which may speed up the cycling process but are otherwise harmful to fish. Higher amounts of ammonia can be introduced. Water changes can be skipped, allowing for ammonia and nitrite to remain as a food source for bacteria. Water temperature can be idealized for bacteria growth and reproduction, and many more. What do I need? Pre-assembled aquarium system, a reliable test kit, a source of ammonia, patience and understanding. Other helpful items, measuring equipment and seed bacteria. Helpful hints, keeping a log or diary of your test results will not only help you track changes, but may also help you see the process firsthand. Sources of ammonia. The sources of ammonia available to us are varied each with their own pros and cons. Liquid ammonia should be free and clear of perfume, styles, and surfaces. is an instant source of ammonia. Frozen and flake fish foods, obviously to go uneaten, frozen and flake food will eventually decay into ammonia. Fresh and frozen seafood meant for human consumption like the fish foods, fresh and frozen seafood will also decay into a source of ammonia. Seeding your aquarium. While many products available to us promise to speed up the cycling process, fishless cycling works without us having to add any bacteria at all. However, if you plan to seed your tank, perhaps the most trustworthy method would be to add substrate, decor, or filter media from an already cycled aquarium. Step 1. Introducing ammonia. The initial steps require using the test kit to achieve an ammonia reading of 5 parts per million. If using liquid ammonia, start by adding 5 drops for every 10 gallons of water in your tank. After doing so, test the water and add more if necessary. If using another source, you may have to wait several days before there is any detectable amount of ammonia. Moving forward, make a note of the number of drops or amount of fish food or seafood it took to reach a level of 5 parts per million ammonia. From this point, replenish ammonia levels with this exact amount as needed. For example, add the same number of drops of liquid ammonia daily. Step 2. Nitride Spikes Over time, beneficial bacterial populations will increase and you will notice increasing amounts of nitride. The appearance of nitride is a good sign, but does not mean you should stop adding your chosen source of ammonia. Step 3. Nitrate Spikes Once again, over time, beneficial bacterial populations will increase, but this time you will notice nitrate registering on your test kit. The appearance of nitrate is also a good sign, but does not mean you should stop adding your chosen source of ammonia yet. The 
elapsed the time between those seeing a nitrite spike and the first signs of nitrate will also differ due to any number of variables. Patients here will continue to be a virtue. Step 4. Cycle com com complete. Now that you have both bacteria which eats ammonia and bacteria which eats nitrite, you only need to wait for their population to increase. At this point, continue adding ammonia and testing. As you do, you will notice ammonia and nitrite levels dropping until they no longer register on your test kits. You cannot be sure that the cycle is complete until you notice both ammonia and nitrite levels are zero and remain at zero. Simply put, we have created a food chain. Ammonia is introduced. Bacteria number one eats ammonia, producing nitrites. Bacteria number two eats nitrites, producing nitrates. This process repeats. We refer to it as a cycle. Step five, reaping the rewards. Congratulations. Your patience is now about to be rewarded as you have reached the point where you can consider adding fish and or inverts. But before you start running to the store, because you have not performed water changes throughout this process, you will want to perform a large one to remove nitrate and other potentially dangerous problems before adding fish. Congratulate you because fishless cycling is a more humane method of starting a new aquarium. We would like to congratulate you on taking the time to watch this tutorial and are sure that your fish will thank you. In conclusion, we hope the information in this video tutorial has been helpful to you in cycling your aquarium. Be sure to look for more helpful video tutorials today. Thank you.